Artificial intelligence, it's everywhere these days. Helping doctors, powering self-driving cars, even writing Shakespearean sonnets about your cat. But like a chatbot that's learned to swear, AI has a dark side too. Scammers are using it to trick people in ways we never thought possible. It's enough to make you miss the good old days of Nigerian princes needing your bank account details. Almost. Think about it. AI can analyze massive amounts of data, it learns your habits, your preferences, even your fears, and it uses this knowledge to craft scams so believable they'd fool a Nigerian prince. Don't worry though, we're here to give you the lowdown on these AI-powered scams and more importantly, how to beat them, because knowledge is power, and also it might save you from a very awkward phone call with your bank. So buckle up, Buttercup, we're about to dive headfirst into the wild world of AI-powered scams. And trust us, you'll want to pay attention. Because the only thing worse than getting scammed is realizing you could have easily avoided it. Remember that time your voice cracked during your big presentation? Yeah, AI remembers too, and it's ready to use it against you. Voice cloning technology has gotten so good, it can mimic anyone's voice with scary accuracy. All it needs is a few seconds of audio. Your grandma's birthday message on Facebook? Prime target. Here's how it works. Scammers use AI to create a voice clone of someone you know and trust. Maybe it's your mom, your best friend, or even your dog walker. Hey, we don't judge. They'll then call or leave you a voicemail, claiming to be in some kind of emergency. They need money wired ASAP. They're stuck in a foreign country. They accidentally joined a cult that only communicates through interpretive dance. The goal is to make you panic and act without thinking. And let's be honest, we've all been there. But before you empty your bank account to save your dog walker from a life of interpretive dance, take a breath. Ask specific questions only the real person would know. What did you get me for my birthday last year? What's the name of our third grade teacher? You get the idea. And if you're still unsure, hang up and call the person directly. Better safe than sending your life savings to a scammer doing the Macarena. Remember those spam emails we used to laugh at? The ones with terrible grammar and promises of untold riches? Well, they've gone to finishing school and gotten a serious upgrade. Thanks to AI, phishing scams are now more personalized and, frankly, more believable than ever. AI can analyze your online activity with the precision of a hawk eyeing its prey. It knows what you like, what you buy, and probably even that embarrassing thing you googled that one time. We won't tell. Armed with this information, scammers can create emails that look like they're from your bank, your favorite online store, or even your long-lost grandson. We've all been there, right? These emails might ask you to update your account information, verify a suspicious purchase, or click on a link that leads to a website designed to steal your information. And because they look so real, it's easy to fall for them. So, what's the key to not getting hooked? Look for the telltale signs, check the sender's email address carefully, hover over links before you click them. And if something feels off, trust your gut. Your bank will understand if you accidentally report a legitimate email as spam. They'll be less understanding if you accidentally hand over your life savings to a scammer who probably doesn't even like your favorite online store. Identity theft is nothing new, but thanks to AI, it's gone from stealing your wallet to stealing your entire digital existence. We're talking about AI creating a synthetic you. A digital doppelganger so convincing it could probably pass a background check, here's the scary part. AI can gather your personal information from all over the internet. Think social media posts, online quizzes, even those customer loyalty programs you signed up for and promptly forgot about. It then uses this information to create a fake profile that's scarily close to the real you. This synthetic you can then be used to open credit cards, take out loans, and even commit crimes in your name. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie except it's happening right now. So how do you protect yourself from becoming an unwitting member of a digital clone army? Be careful about what you share online, regularly check your credit reports, and consider placing a fraud alert or credit freeze on your accounts, because in the age of AI your identity is more valuable than ever, and losing it is about as fun as getting a root canal while listening to a dial-up modem connect.